If you're a professional salesperson or own a business where you have to sell a product or a service, you're going to be interested in this short video. Why? Because it may very well change your life in a very positive way. So let me ask you a question. Do you think one book could make the difference between success and failure? Hello and thanks for watching. My name is Tom Monson and in the next couple minutes I'm going to show you some secrets that will give you an amazing advantage, especially if you want to increase your sales and make more money. I'm sure you know when someone buys something, they buy it because they either need it or they want it. But more often than not, a person may need something he or she doesn't even know they need. or they don't want to make a buying decision at that particular moment. And that's why we need salespeople, because it's the salesperson's job to help a prospect buy the product he needs and to buy it right then. And this is the main reason salespeople are among the highest paid workers on the planet. It's not uncommon for a salesperson to make more money than the president of his company. So where can you learn the skills to become a great salesperson? Many larger companies have sales training programs, but they often are inadequate because they focus on product features rather than how to sell. Unfortunately, the vast majority of companies whose primary business is selling products offer little in the way of training. They expect to hire salespeople who know what they're doing. And my friend, this is the reason why 20% of the salespeople make 80% of the commissions. So what that means is that 20% of the commissions paid are split up between the remaining 80% of salespeople. What's the difference? It's simple. The 20% know more than the 80%. If you want to be in the top 20%, learn how to do a better job in selling. It's that simple. Listen, selling is not an art and it's not science. It's a series of events that lead a prospect to make a decision to buy something. There's no such thing as a natural salesperson. It's all learned. And if you know how, you'll get a bigger piece of that commission pie and a bigger paycheck. And that's where I come in. I've been selling for a long time. Over the years, I've helped a lot of people get what they want. My sales career started when I was in college. It was the beginning of the school year and I needed a job. A friend suggested I interview at the insurance company where he worked. <laughs> I remember telling him, selling? I have no desire to be a salesman. A few months passed and I was almost broke. I decided to take a look at the insurance job. Hey, it seemed like a decent job. I could set my own hours and I, I wouldn't get dirty. But everyone told me I was crazy. Selling the insurance would be way too hard. You know, selling something you can't see. But I still needed a job. So I decided to give it a try. Long story short, three months later, I'm making more money than the average Harvard grad. Now there's something that you need to understand. This did not happen by accident. I didn't realize it at the time, but I had already gone through intensive sales training. During my teen years, I painted cars in a body and fender shop. The shop owner taught me how to work with customers. And as it turns out, he was one of the best salespeople I've ever known. He never called it selling, but that's what it was. In the five years I worked there, he taught me how to be a great salesperson. After my early years of being a national leader in the insurance industry, I finally found my calling. As the executive director, of the Small Business Advancement Institute, I found myself working with hundreds of small business owners and they all had the same problem. They needed more customers. That's when I began my sales training career. I helped people learn the sales process. You know, sales is a great profession for some people and not so much for others. The ones that do well understand it is a process and it has rules or principles. And they know that when they follow the principles, they'll make tons of money. 
On the other hand, some people think sales is a grinding and unpleasant interaction between people. This tells me they're not following the basic principles. So where can you find these principles? Top salespeople invest their time and money to learn their craft. That's why they're on top. They buy books, attend seminars, and invest in their education. They are continually learning how to be better. If you want to be successful in selling, you have to do the same thing, and I can help. It doesn't matter if you're a salesperson, a professional, or a business owner who has to sell products or services. I can show you how. Over the years, I found there are at least 62 principles you must follow to succeed in sales and whatever else you do in life. And you can find them right here in the Sales Giant. I've organized the sales success principles into four sections. The basics for success, prospects and prospecting, the selling process, becoming a sales giant. I put them into a format so you can master the material quickly and start earning more money right away. If you're serious about improving your sales skills, you'll buy books and tapes that'll tell you what you need to know. And over time, you may discover the 62 principles. Listen, it took me a long time to find those 62 principles and to put this book together. If this book would have been available back when I started, it could have saved me years. Not only will you get great information, I work with educational experts to develop the format so you will learn it quickly, it'll stick, and you can put it to work fast. Being among the best means you'll make more money and you'll enjoy your life. And here's my promise. When you buy this book and invest only 30 minutes a day for the next 90 days, you'll earn more, be less stressed, and find a better way of life. Buy this book. It's going to be worth millions of dollars to you. So let me ask you a question. Do you think one book could make the difference between success and failure? Well, you can bank on it. The rest of your life is in your hands right now.